Hi, and welcome to the Sacramento Bee's Nightly Buzz. I'm David Caraccio, and here's a recap of today's top stories. Sacramento area schools are trying to adjust to a new law banning classes from starting before 8 a.m. for middle schools and before 8.30 a.m. for high schools. That's as much as an hour later in some districts. For example, Elk Grove Unified School District officials said they anticipate school will end later in the day for their kids, and more bus routes and drivers will be needed as the number of students relying on transportation could could rise. Governor Gavin Newsom signed the law last week. School districts have until 2022 to complete the changes. Roseville police said the man whose body was found inside Shankar Hongood's red Mazda outside a Mount Shasta police station Monday was killed October 13th in a rural part of Siskiyou County. The carnage began a week earlier in Hongood's Roseville apartment complex. A woman and a girl were the first to die on October 7th. A boy was killed in the apartment the next day, October 8th, according to police. The victims haven't been identified. Multiple earthquakes have rattled Central California in the last few days, coming right before the 30th anniversary of the devastating Loma Prieta earthquake. So you might ask, is it time to worry about the big one? The short answer to that is no, according to Anne-Marie Balte, a seismologist with the U.S. Geological Survey. She said it's unlikely the area will see a large earthquake such as a magnitude 8, but advised people to think about how prepared they are for a future magnitude 4.7 earthquake like the recent Timblers were. And here's tonight's stinger. A mini golf course with 43 taps pouring local beers is opening Sunday next to Golden One Center in downtown Sacramento. Flat Stick Pub and Trophy Club will open at 630 K Street where Roostaller's Tap Room used to be. Flat Stick will have 18 holes with hazards including beer kegs donated from local breweries and a two-ton tower bridge replica. This has been your nightly buzz. Make it a point to visit sacb.com for more local breaking news.